Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is my monthly unboxing. Okay, so I did get a new shipment in of fuelings and I know uh, when I posted it on Instagram, a lot of you were asking, please do an unboxing. Haven't done one in a while. So I figured why not? Let's show you what I got. All right. So one of the things that I love to keep on hand, and I don't eat them often, guys, I really don't, um, are these. They're called the Flavors of Home. This one is in the Chicken Cacciatore flavor. This is the one I love the most. The reason I don't eat them often is because at 290 calories for this whole thing, there's almost 500 grams of sodium. That's a lot. Definitely don't eat this if you're about to weigh in. <laughs> but also another reason is I feel like, even though this is a complete lean and green, I feel like the uh, amount of chicken that's in here is very, very small. I feel like the portion size is just plenty. However, I just feel the tomato, hi Paisley, <laughs> the tomato sauce that they use is taking up a lot of the veg. So I, I only keep these handy when I don't have like plans to make anything, which is not very usual. I usually know what I'm doing. Um, or if I have to go somewhere or it's not the kind of thing you want to do every day or even a couple times a week. I just feel like you could do so much better making your own food, but they're definitely something good to have on hand on those days where you just don't feel like cooking, you're going somewhere, it's like a convenience factor thing. This is what it looks like, chicken cacciatore. I have tried the turkey meatballs, I love those. I haven't tried the lemongrass one that they have or anything else, but I definitely like to keep these on hand. So that's the first thing I want to show you. But the next thing I wanna show you is, this is my new favorite. This is the wild strawberry shake. I cannot get enough of these. In fact, check it out. <laughs> I'm drinking one right now. Guys know I love chocolate. But these have just become, I don't know what it is. It just reminds me of, and I've said this I think before, when I was a kid, there was this milkshake hamburger joint near us. And we would go and we would have always a strawberry shake with our fries and burger and whatnot. And this literally tastes just to me like, it like brings me right back from when I was a kid. I don't, you know, like when you hear a song, it brings you back. This <laughs> brings me back to that. I love these. I absolutely love these. These are my favorite shakes at the moment. So I did order some of those. Um, haven't had this in a while. So I went on and ordered the creamy chocolate shake. You guys know this was my favorite for, I don't even know how long. And since the strawberry shake has taken over, and the Mocha Blast has taken over. I needed to get some more of these, so I ordered these. Uh, here's another box of the chocolate shake. And one more box of the chocolate shake. Now the reason I got three boxes of this is because they're out of hot chocolate again. Optavia. <laughs> so a bunch of you were saying if you add hot water to the uh, chocolate protein shake, it makes a hot chocolate. And I love, Lately, ending the day with hot chocolate. I just, it is soothing, it is filling. It takes me over an hour to drink it, which is really nice. And it helps like slow me down a little bit. Um, I also find finishing off my night with that hot chocolate, I just feel, you know, that warm chocolatey yumminess. It kind of just like soothes you and helps you unwind. I don't know, it could be in my head, but that's what I feel like. <laughs> All right, so. Cheddar mac and cheese, another one of my favorites. I love it. I make it in the waffle maker now. I love it regular as directed. I don't soak it. I absolutely don't. I just cook it. And I sometimes cook it longer with a little bit more water than it asks you to. So this way, um, when it's done cooking, I cover it like with, I use one of those soup mugs with the plastic lid. I cover it and I just let it sit for like, I don't know, two or three minutes afterward, then I mix it up. Noodles are perfect, nice and creamy every time. Can't go without ordering a box of brownies. Who can do that? And again, you can use this as a shake, you can use it as a brownie or hot chocolate. Somebody said, I can't remember who, 
that they use these for their hot chocolate and those little yogurt chips melt in there and make it more creamy. I don't know, I might have to try that. Okay, a box of the sour cream and chive potatoes. We do have three options on Optavia. Sour cream and chive, sweet potato, which hasn't been in stock in so long, but they're really good. And the garlic mashed potatoes. The sour cream and chive is my favorite. I've been trying not to hack anything, but you know my bagel hack, you know the waffle fry hack that I have. There, I mean, you can do anything to it. But I've been really focusing on drinking and eating the fuelings as they're written. Like for instance, this strawberry shake that I'm drinking is just water and ice. I got into a really comfortable habit of using the unsweetened almond milk. And I truly think that having all of my shakes with almond milk, I don't know, it's just adding extra calories. And I know we can have it, it's built in. I don't know, it's just, I feel like sometimes my body has to pull back. Stop having so much almond milk. Do it with some water. Maybe have one almond milk shake, not all three <laughs> or four, because half a cup of almond milk is only half a condiment. So technically, you could have six. You could have all five day, uh, I'm sorry. You could have all your feelings in a day as shakes, add a half a cup of almond milk, half a cup of water, that's great, but I'm just trying something different. I'm trying to do the plan like I did the last time when I lost the 50 pounds. I wasn't using almond milk. I wasn't using a ton of stuff. I just ate the way that the package said. You know, we always have to try something, right? All right, and I got two more boxes of the strawberry shake. So three strawberry and three chocolate. So I'm good for the month. I also have um, a box of Mocha Blast that I haven't even touched. Okay, this, you guys, I ordered three of these. This is the cinnamon sugar sticks. I know that there's people out there that don't like it because they feel like it's too dry, but I don't, I don't know. I don't find that. I find them crunchy, like a pretzel, like hard. I find them sweet because of the brown sugar and that little hint of cinnamon on them Reminds me of Cinnamon Toast Crunch. You've seen me. If you follow me on Instagram, please do. Same name as the channel, Felician Nurse. I showed a picture of this in a bowl where I used a condiment. I used some almond milk, unsweetened vanilla, and I poured the bag into a bowl with the almond milk. I didn't break them up. People were suggesting that I break them up and crumble them up, but they get very soggy that way. And I I notoriously have never really enjoyed cereal that much, especially as a kid, because I hate soggy cereal. It's just the texture of it grosses me out. I like to have a little bit of milk in there and I feel that crunch. This does it for me. I also dip this in Laughing Cow Cheese if I need to use up a condiment, or I just usually take these on the road with me. This is like a portable one that you don't need a microwave, you don't need anything to do. So I got three boxes of those. Then I had to restock my protein bars because you guys know I'm on the road a lot with work and whatnot. So, and I opened this this morning. Uh, this is the, I haven't had this one in a while either. And this, if you followed me two years ago, this was my ultimate favorite. This bar got me to lose 50 pounds. I ate one of these every single day, <laughs> pretty much every single day. Love these things. So I got one of those, the drizzled chocolate fudge bar, another one of my favorites. I love these. I absolutely love these. Can't go wrong. They fit in your work bag. They fit in your pocketbook. I keep a stash before I got the Jeep, I kept it in my little console. Now I keep, I already stocked up the Jeep, which by the way, I named Hollywood, trying to put some things out in the universe. Hollywood, my truck. I stocked Hollywood up. I put the cinnamon sticks, two bags in my uh, glove box. I put a bunch of bars in my console and I have my, um, what are those things called? The um, Oh my God, the cheddar herb crunchers, I think, that remind me of pizza. I put a bag or two in my door. You have to keep stuff with you at all times because sometimes you go out, right? How many people go out for the day? 
and you anticipate being home for your next fueling and then something happens and you don't have anything with you and you're at the point where it's like three hours maybe going on four and you're starving and that is downfall central for me if i don't have a feeling with me when it's time to eat that's when i just get ravenous i come home and like i will you don't even want to so I always keep them with me. They're in my pocketbook, they're in my work bag. I have one in my coat pocket. <laughs> it's like insane, but it really helps. You're never without, never. Okay, so, and I also got two more of the same. So two fudge, two of the crunchy peanut butter, or not crunchy peanut butter, silky peanut butter chocolate chip. Let me correct that. That's what that is. Is that it? I guess that's it. That's my box. So you can see I've got six box of shakes. I really want to start, um, I shouldn't even say start. I do drink a lot of shakes, but I want to start getting back to the basics, back to the basics. Shakes with water and ice. I know I'm allowed a condiment and I know I can have the almond milk, but I'm trying very hard. You know, like I'm like, <sighs> I'm trying very hard to get to the basics. What I did the other day, this is so weird. This is so weird because I normally don't like to watch myself back. But I went back to 2018. Is that when it was? 2018, April 28th. Oh my God, I remember the day when I started Optavia for the first time ever. And I watched, because I did a weekly weigh-in video and I did a couple of what I eat in a days in between, but predominantly my channel was those weigh in. It was Saturday morning and I did a weigh in video. Week one, week two, week three, all the way through my journey. And I sat and watched them all. And it was so weird because I'm watching myself, but I found it to be inspiring. I watched myself go through the journey with the way the plan is written. I really didn't do any hacks. I didn't do any, like, I didn't do self-sabotage. I didn't do anything that really wasn't supposed to happen. And the weight just flew off. It just flew off. I wasn't, I wasn't drinking coffee either. That's a big one. I literally stopped the coffee. I only drank water. I didn't drink diet soda. I didn't drink Crystal Light. I didn't drink iced tea. None of it. It was just water and the fuelings, the lean and green, and I would try to incorporate my condiments. Always had the healthy fat though, always had the healthy fat. And the 50 some odd pounds just came right off. Two weigh-ins, one was like a 0.2 gain and the other one, I believe I stayed the same. That's it. It was consistent downward trend, week after week after week. And lately I've kind of just been like bobbling around. I like, it's just the weirdest thing. And there's a lot of people out there who are like me, who say when they first started this plan, it was cake. And I don't know if that's just because we were so excited about it. Sometimes I feel like, this is weird. Sometimes I feel like I'm just going through it. Like this is my food. Instead of intentional eating, instead of, not self-sabotaging, which I do sometimes. I could go like a full week and do so great. And then for whatever reason, I have triggers. And I know here's some of the reasons. You want me to be honest? I'll tell you. Molly, my, my one dog, the oldest one. Molly's on medication. And every time Molly takes a pill, the only way I can give it to her is if I put it in a little tiny bit of peanut butter on a spoon. Boop. Trigger for Lori. That peanut butter, that giant jar of peanut butter is such a trigger for me. And unfortunately, I am the only one during the period of time she needs this because it has to be kept at a certain blood level. I'm the only one home at that time. I, I wish I could change it, but she would suffer for a good 48 hours if I manipulated it and I'm not doing that to her. But it is a trigger. There's times I can give her that pill and no issue. And then there's times I look at that peanut butter and I'm like, son of a gun, I'm hungry. I'm just gonna have a spoon. And then one spoon could turn to two. That is, and as I'm doing it, I know it's wrong. I'm like, damn it. And then guys, 
you guys know, okay? Because we're all here to lose weight. So nobody out there is perfect. Remember that. We're not perfect. It's a journey. But I want the journey back to the mindset that I used to have. I feel, you know, those maybe one to two tablespoons of peanut butter could then say in my head, you screwed up, Lori. You might as well have something that you've been itching to have for the last week or so because you already blew it. That is a mindset that I frequently visit and it's also one that I cringe at the thought of because why am I doing this to myself? And, and really what it comes down to, I think with a lot of soul searching, obviously part of it is me, but the other part that I won't blame on myself is our brain. <laughs> our brain, the only thing our brain tries to do is survive. Our brain wants us to survive. And when our brain sees that we are eating low calories or maybe we did a workout or we were just very active on a specific day and our brain knows we need calories, right? It doesn't realize we're doing this on purpose. It's very hard to live off a thousand calories every day for weeks at a time without the brain saying, hey girl, I'm going to make you hungry right now because you are just way low on those calories. And I don't know if you're in the middle of a desert and you're not going to come across food, you know, for the next six months. So I'm going to make you hungry. And I feel like sometimes when I cave into that stuff, it truly is because I'm hungry. There's times where I'm hungry. There's times where I do it like I feel like it's just like automatic and where I'm not even thinking about it. But but most of the time, it's because I'm hungry. This plan is wonderful. And if you can get into the right mindset of doing it to get it done, to reach your goal, you should have no issues. But there's a lot of us that do. We stumble, you know. Um, age plays a factor, right? Um, I'm going to be 52 in just a couple months. In three Three months, I'll be 52 years old. My body is changing and I will never use that as an excuse because I know it's just, you know, my body can't pick up a, a, a spoon of peanut butter and shove it in my mouth. It's my brain that tells me to do it. And as I'm reaching for that peanut butter and I'm saying, don't do it, don't do it, don't do it. And I put it in my mouth. I'm like, oh, it's so good. You know, and here comes the pattern. I feel good for a couple minutes. Then I start thinking, what did I just do? I just destroyed my whole day. Really? Did I just destroy my whole day? Not really. But then I might go for something else because that's the mindset I have. Then my day will be destroyed. Let me get that. I'll be right back. Sorry, guys. That was a telemarketer. Mm. <laughs> So anyway, basically in a nutshell, I'm just going to skip over everything I was going to say because we're already at a crazy amount of time here for this video. And it was supposed to be an unboxing, but I kind of felt the need that I had to vent. Um, I struggle too, guys. I'm not perfect. Far from it. I know a lot of you think and you comment and you're the sweetest people out there. And it makes me literally like well up every time I read things. I'm not perfect. I do struggle sometimes. And for some reason, after COVID, when I was that sick for six weeks, I've been on the struggle bus. I do really well for like a week and then I struggle for a day. Then I get back on it. I do good for a couple days. Then I fall off it for maybe like one little thing in my mouth. But one thing can turn into two, can turn into three. And sometimes it's hard not to cave. But what I do know is it's a choice. Like it's an absolute choice. It is. We, when we're hungry, <laughs> our body, our brain wants to survive. Our, our body and brain see hunger as you could potentially die if you don't get enough nutrients. So we're going to make the craving so strong that you eat. So I guess what I'm trying to say is we do all struggle. That's why we're here, right? There's been so many people on Optavia that have reached goal weight and that have kept it off. But then there's a lot of people that lose the weight and gain some back. There's been people that gain it all back. There's been people that gain all of it and more back. 
So what is the answer? The answer is you and me. It's a choice. We choose. When I walk into that kitchen to get that peanut butter for Molly with her pill and I decide to eat a spoon of it, I have to stop and think a minute. Do I really want this? Or is it like an automatic thing? Am I truly hungry? Maybe I should have an egg white, a hard boiled egg, something other than that. Or maybe I shouldn't have anything at all. Maybe I should just go have a glass of water. Sometimes we confuse hunger signals with water. So there's a million ways to go about this. I really am trying super hard to stay focused. Um, and, and just the last bit of weight is always the damn hardest, right? It always is. But again, I watched myself in that journey and I was like, wow, that girl really knows what she's doing. She's really doing well. She's focused. She's determined. She's losing weight every week. And the strangest part about it was that girl was me, is me. I need to get back into that Lori. I need to get back into that mindset. And if you're on that struggle bus too, get in the mindset, guys. Get it in because I know <laughs> spring for me is right around the corner, which means all of these sweaters are going away. It's going to be t-shirts, tank tops, shorts in the summertime. And I am not ready to put that on. This year has been tough. The pandemic has ruined a lot of things. The gym has been closed. We made one in our basement and our garage. You think I would go use it? Honestly, it's freezing down there. We don't have heat in the garage. So that's an excuse. I know if I want it, I'll go do it. It's just been very hard. I don't know. Like I feel like my whole world has changed and our whole world has changed. But again, there's people succeeding and I want to get the last bit of weight off. I want to get back into my fitness. I want to get back with the musculature that I had and the stamina and, you know, like I'm tired a lot and it's dark here and I think my vitamin D levels are low and I'm just rambling. <laughs> and it sounds like excuses, doesn't it? It really does. Like I got to stop doing this. I got to get this together. So with this box that I just showed you, I have set a goal for myself to do the plan for the month of March the way it's written. That's it. That is it. If I can do that, then I have four weeks. Hopefully won't need another box after this. But you know me, I love the stuff. So I might, I don't know. We'll see what happens. I just, I pray that I can get my mind back to those good places and just do this damn thing already. Oh, I miss my hiking. I miss my biking. I miss all of that. Winters here in New Jersey are long, long. And with the pandemic, we still have things shut down. We still, like, you can't go anywhere, can't do anything. I still haven't had my vaccine. I'm still working on that. Still on the list in good old New Jersey as a nurse. <laughs> still haven't gotten it yet. God. All right. Enough about that. So anyway, that's my unboxing. That's my little venting sesh. I hope that something in this video struck a chord with you. And if you're on that struggle boss, my goodness, let me know and let's try to work at this together like we always do, okay? So have a wonderful day, stay focused. That has been my mantra since all the time ago, stay focused. I have to tell myself that, stay focused. And remember, we can do this. Yes, we can, as long as we do it together. I'll see you in my next video.